everybody. Today we're here with Monica Pommier in Newport Beach at Pier Bar. And we're here to learn a little bit about the system. Can you tell us just the the, some of the method. basic? Yeah, is it called the method? The pure bar technique, it's called. Um, it's basically the, face, the fastest, most effective, yet safest way to change a woman's body. Um, we use very small isometric movements to failure, and we do so to great music. So it's a very fast, quick workout. What's the genesis of it? How did it get started? The, um, the creator of the technique is Carrie Rezebeck. She um, is from Michigan and she's a great choreographer. She started in 2001 and then slowly started moving to California where I started taking her class. And then I opened this one in 2009. And the bar gave me the feeling we're gonna see some ballet movements, is that correct? Yes, it's small isometric movements. You use the bar as stabilization and support during um, your workout. So how did you personally get started and how did you develop this business? Um, I took her class and loved it and I moved up to Newport and we talked about opening one in Orange County so as the very first bar technique in Orange County we opened March 2nd um, 2009 and just through all my knowledge I was pre-med integrated physiology before this so I get the human body and how it works and moves. I worked in orthopedic surgery before that. So I applied all of that to what I knew from Pure Bar and what I had learned from Carrie and opened this. So this is not only good for your body to make it look like you want it to, but also to prevent injuries and help your body heal. Would you say that? Yes, definitely. We have women all ages, shapes, and sizes in here. Um, our, my oldest client is 70, youngest is 16, and they can all be in the same room together because our instructors are highly trained and they are very good at making adjustments and corrections for anything. We have girls who have rods in their back, slip discs, things like that, and they can still do the whole workout. So this is fitness for anybody. Fitness for anyone. At any level? At any level. Well, great. I can't wait to get started. So you have some of your students here. Yes. Over here working out. This is actually, what are they doing over here? They're warming up, I guess. They're warming up. We do a warm-up, which is a Pilates-based um, warm-up. Um, they're doing push-ups right now, which is great for strengthening and toning through the upper body and the back and the chest. Um, in addition, we always change and do push-ups where we um, use the back of our arms as well. So we use tricep dips in addition to that. They have the balls in between their legs right now, which is working and toning their inner thighs at the same time. So you can get everything done really fast. Um, um, they're going to go into tricep dips right now where you use the back of your arms. A lot of times women do struggle with the back of their arms. Triceps are a great toning exercise um, where you sit your whole body weight on the back of your arms and you let your arms um, do all the work. Your body's just along for the ride while you push your body up and down, um, just toning through the back. How often do you recommend that a person does this activity? Um, to see good results, um, it's three to four times um, a week. Okay. Um, that class is only an hour and it goes by quickly and you're in and out and on with your day. Now are you doing the same routine every time? We start with the warm up and then we go to thighs and then seat and then um, onto the app section of class. Sure. Um, because just like going for a run, it works in that order. It works in that way, but we like to um, change up the scenery. We like to call it by changing the choreography and give you different things great. to do. Well, now Monica has been gracious enough to show us some, or is going to show us some moves that we can do at home with some of your top students, right? Yes, definitely. And who's, who's this, by the way? This is Kendra. She's Hi, Kendra. amazing. Hello. You're amazing, I heard. Yes. Well, good. We love she that. She is doing um, something called knee dancing, which you can do at home. You don't, as you can see, you don't need the bar. Um, what she's doing is working through the front of her thighs she's toning up from about the knees up and what she's doing is very small little tiny um, tucks of the hip yeah, it barely looks like she's moving because it's isometric hold she's in her deep working zone and she's just tucking under from there um, the ball having your arms away from you is actually making it harder so you have more weight to move around very good well thanks Kendra you're welcome thank you doing a great job okay what's next uh, Amy She's right. going to do a leg extension. Um, you can hold on to either a countertop at home or you mm -hmm. can keep your hands on your hip. You don't have to use the bar, but Amy's going to use the bar because we do have it. So she um, extends out her legs, same thing. She's working from the inner and outer thigh here. See how her leg is slightly turned out. So very small movements yes. once again. And she's just burning from the top of her thigh um, all the way to the inner thigh. Where are you feeling it, Amy? Right here. Okay. <laughs> and now she, I know, got Yeah, she's doing different um, movements within the exercise so she can work in different spots it makes it harder and it also targets different muscles within the very small movements so you want to hit that failure spot where her okay. leg will start to kind of wiggle and shake sure now she does one leg and then the other yeah so it's shorter so you're only there for about 90 seconds on each leg and this is a good second exercise if you're doing just a small amount of exercise. yes very small looking good great form okay what's next more
She's going to work her inner and outer thigh here. This is something you can do at home by just holding onto a countertop or a chair. Um, and what she's doing is the small movements once again. As you push your heels harder together, you actually have to work your thighs that much harder. And this one is a little bit more through the inner thigh and then shapes through the outer thigh as well. So Lauren, where are you feeling this one? My inner thighs? The inner thighs? Oh, my outer thighs as well. Good. That's an area women really are concerned with. Yes, definitely. And how long would you maintain this type of activity? Same thing, around two minutes or so. Minutes? Yeah, you don't so want in two minutes, how are you going to be feeling? Yeah, I'm going to be feeling the burn. They feel the burn. Should so be we're ready to come out of it. Okay, great. Well, thanks so much. Good job. And who's next? Alexis. Oh, Alexis. Hi. Yes, your favorite. My favorite. And she even has a peacock tattoo. We like that. Yes. So what Alexis is doing right here is she is working her seat area. This is outside of the hips sure. where women love um, to kind of get in there. Outside kind of where you wiggle up your jeans so to the top. Primarily in this area? Yes. Okay. Right up there. And Alexis, she'll do that for about yes. two minutes as well. Can you feel it already? I can feel it already. How long have you been doing this for, Alexis? Two and a half years. Two and a half years? Uh -huh. And how would you say it's changed your body and, and the way you feel about it? Well, it's given me long lean muscles that I tried to get through yoga and through fitness. It didn't really achieve that. So it's helped me achieve awesome fitness goals. Great. It's good to hear. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. And who's our next girl? Marissa. Our lady. Hi, Marissa. Marissa's gonna do one that you can do at home on the floor while you're watching TV or okay, turn on your own music. We gotta, we gotta see um, this because she actually put the ball here yeah, in her knee. Yeah, she uses the ball. It gets you there a little bit quicker. It helps to tighten up that hamstring and kind of take it out of the exercise. And then her hips are tucked underneath her, um, which is making no arch in her back, so she's really protected here. Um, that's why people who have back issues can do this exercise. And what she's doing is once again the really small isometric movements and she's toning through this back ledge of her seat area. Wow. Um, she has the nice relaxed neck that's slight bend in the elbows too so you have no tension in that upper body and the idea is to leave your body still yes. and then you're squeezing just from that one muscle area. So where are you feeling it? Right above. Right in here. Okay, I can tell. <laughs> wow, that's a good one. All right, well thanks so much. Yeah. Oh, he said, good, take a break, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, you're already feeling that one. So who's next? Um, we have abs. Abs, okay. I'll do it. And Pamela will do Tamara? it. Pamela. Pamela. Hi, Pamela. Hi there. So she's going to do the first ab that we do in the center of the room. Basically, she's going to round herself down. She's rounding through her spine, making that C curve and protecting her back at all times. Um, she has a nice bend in the elbow, so the tension is going actually into her, um, not into her shoulders or her neck, but it's staying right within her ab section. And she is down as low as she can go before she even starts to pick up and lower her chest. So she's using just her ab section. Her upper body is being a big weight, and her feet are anchoring her to the ground and she's just moving up and down from there. And I'm noticing in this area, in, in the in the upper thigh area, it looks like you have a lot of tension there. So you're working these muscles a little bit. Yeah, you are. I mean, your abs go from under right underneath your yes. bra line all the way down. So she's and that's working a, that's a point all the way down. What do we call that? The muffin top. So that's where a lot of times where women want to work that area, don't they? Yeah, well, that's kind of where women who just had babies, yes. um, that's where they struggle with. So it's a good, the that's abs a good um, go right into that whole front abdominal area, way down low. And now she's turning. Yeah, so then she uses her slide obliques too. Wow. Um, each time. All right, well, thanks so much. And who's our next girl? Okay, so um, Jessica here is gonna show us our ne next ab section. Um, we go to this after this, yeah, just do scissors. She's gonna show, um, this is down low. She's relaxing her back a little bit more. Um, she's stretching through her abs, toning from each side of the abs, and then adding the obliques with the side to side right here. Ouch. Yeah, that one's good. That's ouch just looking at it. But that's a good one. You can Same do that while, you're watching, you while you're watching TV, right? Yeah. Do yeah. it right at home. Just say, hey, you know what? When you're watching every commercial, do this till the, till the TV show comes back on. Good job. And, and then, then Amy. Yeah. So now this is our last of the seven that we're going to do. Yes. So she's going to show us the stretch. Okay. Um, this is what we do at the end of class and the end of every section. Um, this is where we usually finish it is because wow. we burn out those muscles to fatigue and then we stretch them right afterwards so it creates these long lean muscles mm -hmm. rather than adding bulk. We usually don't use any weights except for the arm section. Okay. Um, so you are actually just using your own body weight. Obviously she's extremely flexible. 
Yes. So we want to just not really overstrain when we're doing this initially no. and take it a little easy. Yeah, uh, that's you just lean amazing. forward as much as you can. Yeah. You breathe through <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, as much as you can. And I can get to about right here and then you know. by, by taking the class and getting to that sure. deep working zone and then stretching right afterwards, you do um, become more flexible. Were you always flexible, by the way? No. No. This so class helped me. This class has helped her. And yes. you're amazing at this point. Well, thanks so much. Thank now, how you. do you generally end a class? What are, what are you doing? Well, by the way, how long is the class generally? It is 55 minutes. Okay. Um, um, long and we usually end with um, one final exercise where we blast up the music and let you guys kind of burn it out and then we end with a stretch. Well let's do it. As you can see, I hate my job sometimes. This is horrible. I have to hang out with all these beautiful women. But you guys did a great job. Thank you so much oh, for having us, Monica. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, we're at Pier Bar once again in, in Newport Beach, California. What a great day. We had a nice sunny day and we had beautiful women to work with. Thank you so much. Great information. And until next time, just remember to enjoy. enjoy.